Hi everyone, welcome to Hieroglyphs, a set collection game where the players are archaeologists exploring an ancient Egyptian ruin by gathering hieroglyph tiles, which they can combine to advance on the game. The recommended age is 10 and above, from 2 to 4 players, and the duration is 30 minutes. Here at the center we have the pyramid board and 4 meeples. There are 4 different chain combination tiles. Each match, one is selected and placed on the board, which gives the game more replayability. There are 10 trap tiles, 5 manuscript cards, 4 rucksack tokens, and, at last, 56 hieroglyph tiles. The objective of the game is for each player to rebuild their table making combinations using the hieroglyphs. Some combinations result in exploration points, which lets the player advance inside the pyramid. The one who gets furthest wins. Place all the meeples on the zero of the pyramid. Choose a chain combination and place it on its respective slot. Each player receives a manuscript card that contains a lead for how to build their tables. Separate the fragments on a pile on the right side below the pyramid. Then we flip some hieroglyphs spaced up to begin the game. Also, each player has their own space to rebuild their table and a rucksack token so that they can store their hieroglyphs before using them. During a turn, the player will choose between two actions to gather fragments, explore or collect. The explore action allows the player to flip three fragments and choose two. The collect action allows them to choose fragments from the same line or column from the revealed fragments. Those two actions give the game a nice balance between luck and strategy. Using the fragment star on the rucksack, a player will rebuild their table by always placing a fragment adjacent to another. By doing that, they may create a combination, score points, and advance inside the pyramid. There are two kinds of combinations, the chain combinations and the common ones. During the explore action, a player may review a hieroglyph which activates a trap. When this happens, the player draws a trap tile from its pile and places it on the ladder slot in front of the player who is ahead in the game. When a player crosses this place, it triggers a trap and this player collects said trap. By the end of the game, players lose points according to the number of traps each triggered. The player may also try to disarm a trap at the beginning or end of their turn. When there are no hieroglyphs left, the players count their penalties and bonus points. The player receives extra points for each accomplished lead from the manuscript card. Then, the player further ahead in the pyramid wins the game. This is Hieroglyphs. It's a family game with no language dependence and easy to learn.